Greetings and thank you for giving us this time today to be with you, spend a few moments in God's Word and pray with you. We always appreciate the opportunity to do that. And we trust that as we spend a few moments in God's Word, you are being enriched, encouraged in your walk with God. This week we're talking about success. All of us want to desire to be successful. We want to do well in whatever we do. And like we said at the very beginning, uh, success is defined differently for each of us. Uh, we, we understand what success would be and look like for us personally because we are all engaged in different things, pursuing different things. And so we don't have to compare our success with somebody else because your success is not measured by somebody else's success. Your success is entirely measured, is measured entirely by how and well how you do in what God has assigned for your life. So that is success in your life. You're doing well. What we must understand is this: that God can cause us to be successful. And he has said that you and I can prosper in whatever we are assigned to do. Now follow with me on these scriptures. In Psalm 1, verses 1, 2, and 3, very familiar. God talks about a man who fears God. He doesn't walk in ungodly ways. He doesn't follow the way of sinners or scornful. He delights in the law of the Lord. He meditates in God's word. He will be like a tree that's planted by rivers of water and his leaf will not wither and whatever he does prospers, whatever he does. Whether he's, you know, he's a professional, he's a teacher or he's a whatever, whatever this man does, he prospers. Why? Because he's firmly planted in God. Psalm 25 verse 12 and 13, it talks about a man who fears God, who God teaches him in the way he chooses. He will dwell in prosperity. So he fears God. God guides him in all his choices. And he dwells in prosperity. And he's very successful. He's doing well in life. Because he fears God. God is guiding him. And he's doing really well. And his children are blessed after him. Psalm 25, 12 and 13. And Psalm 35, verse 27, the psalmist said, you know, God has pleasure in the prosperity of a servant. God is pleased when his people are successful, are fruitful, are prosperous. He has pleasure in seeing his people prosper. He has pleasure in seeing you do well in life, you being successful in life. And Psalm 12, Proverbs 28, verse 25, the latter part of that verse says, he who trusts in the Lord will be prospered. What I want us to understand is this, that as God's people, if we are rooted in God, live by His Word, be guided by Him in what we do, trust in Him, it will cause us to prosper and succeed in whatever we do. Now, you may not have thought of that, you know, the world says, you know, you've got to be like the world, you've got to follow the ways of the world, you've got to, you know, whatever ways they follow. But I'm showing you from the scriptures that if we are people who fear God, live godly, live by the word, be guided by God, trust in God, fear God, He will cause us to succeed and prosper. And that's for you. Let's receive it. Let's pray. Father, we choose to be like who your word calls us to be. And we thank you. You will cause us to be prosperous and successful in whatever we do. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.